Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I thought it would be fun to go through a tier list ranking all the muscles based on how fun they are to train. So while I'm talking about the muscles, I'm going to be also showing some exercises in the background which are really fun to do in my opinion for those specific muscles. Or in the case where the muscle is not fun to train, I might not show very many exercises, if any at all because they're just not fun to train and simply don't have, you know, with my limited home gym, the equipment that I need in order to train them in the first place. So with that being said, let's get into the tier list. I'm excited. Okay, so I think we should get the most obvious muscle out of the way, which is calves, because of course calves are the best muscle in the entire planet to train. Unless you couldn't really tell already, I was being sarcastic. The only thing that you can do with calves is one exercise, and I'm gonna show you just how fun that exercise is to do. Yep, that right there is the best calf exercise that you can do. Does that look fun in any way whatsoever? D tier. So I think now going from the worst muscle to train, I'm gonna go to probably the most alpha muscle there is, which is the chest. Now if you'd asked me probably like six weeks ago or something, I actually probably wouldn't have put chest too high. It's genetically my weakest body part, pretty much. I mean, my flat bench is just so bad compared to all of my other exercises. But when we got this band set online, I have been having a killer time with chest. I've been able to do the pec deck with the bands, which is a banded version, obviously. If you give a really tight contraction on your pecs when you get to the latter half of the movement, it's really fun and you really can get a good pump doing that. Other than that, I like doing the flat bench press and then maybe every now and then I'll do some incline dumbbell press. Uh, that band set that I got is putting chest, from my opinion, from an A tier or a B tier, straight to the S tier. It is a great muscle to train. Next up, we got hamstrings. And the reason I don't really like training hamstrings is because just like my dad, I never see them. So it's really not fun to train a body part that I can't see, which is already a bad thing considering it's a lower body movement, lower body, you know, hamstrings is on your legs which in my opinion are not as fun to train as most upper body things. That along with the fact that the only exercise I really can do to get them with my gym is either a banded hamstring curl, which I don't like doing. And then you get a little bit of contraction in your hamstrings from hip thrusts. But other than that, you really can't do much with my home gym. So, you know, they're not the worst muscle to train, but I'm gonna have to put them in the C tier. They're just edging out of the D tier. You know, calves are just that bad. Okay, next up for the upper body, we got shoulders. Now, shoulders are actually probably genetically one of my best body parts, and they're also really fun to train. You know, you can do lat pulls with them. I like using a dumbbell for that. You can do overhead press, which is, in my opinion, one of the best compound exercises in general. It doesn't just train your shoulders, it trains your chest as well. Yeah, no, they're just a great overall muscle to train. But compared to some of the other body exercises, I really don't feel like you get as good of a pump out of them. And they also hurt a lot to train sometimes if you don't do it correctly. So just because of that, I think I'm gonna put them in the A tier, not the S tier. Okay, now for our lower body muscle, I think I'm gonna go with the quads. Now this is the absolute king of lower body muscles. I mean, the quads, you know, pretty much with every single leg exercise you do, you kind of hit the quads with anything. So, you know, you got squats, which are just a great all around compound exercise. You can do deadlifts, which is another great compound exercise. I mean, those are two of the three main compound exercises right there. They mainly hit the quads, depending on what variation you do. And then you also have, which I really like doing, Bulgarian split squats. I think they get a really good contraction. You can get a good pump on them. So quads, you know, they're honestly, even for being leg muscle, they're one of my favorite body parts to train and they really make leg day a lot more enjoyable for me. Just because of that, you know, I think they deserve an S tier. They're really good. I, I really like quads. For upper body movement, we have forearms. Now, I don't really train forearms just because I already get enough of that already, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't really have anything against them, but you, know, you can do hammer curls to train forearms. 
I don't really train them specifically any other way though. They're not that fun to train in my opinion and I don't really think big forearms are that aesthetically pleasing. So just because of that, they're not terrible, but I'm gonna have to put them in the C tier. I don't think they go any higher or any lower than that. For our next lower body muscle, I think we're gonna go with the glutes, or as I like to call it, the ass. So I think the problem with the glutes, they get a bad rep just because I am of the male variety of human being homo sapien Neanderthal. Uh, I feel like it's really embarrassing to train the glutes in the open, you know, you have to be really sneaky about it. There's like an aura of, of sneakiness around them, if you know what I mean. You know, if you ever do hip thrust as a guy in front of like multiple people if they're watching or even if they're not watching, you just feel like you have to be super, super careful about it because if anyone sees you doing hip thrust, you automatically get called gay. I mean, it's, it's incredibly sad in my opinion because hip thrusts are a great exercise. But, you know, if I get caught doing them, by like someone else, you know, I'm, I'm embarrassed and I'm not doing them for the next three weeks and then maybe I'll sneak them back into my routine after that. But uh, you know, other than that, you get a good contraction on them. They're, they're not that fun to train, but they're not bad either. I think, I think they're a good B tier, a first B tier, you know? Not terrible, but not great either. Okay, next up we got traps. Now the problem I have with traps is that, you know, I don't have a mirror in my gym. But if I did, it would just make me want to do them even less. I don't really do them already. I mean, you can do shrugs to hit your traps. But the problem with that is that I find that with shrugs more than any other exercise, the faces you make are incredibly disturbing. I mean, if you see yourself making those faces, you're, you're honestly kind of scared. Like I'm terrified of myself when I used to do shrugs when the COVID wasn't here. Seeing myself in the mirror doing those, it was not a pretty sight. I don't really like traps that much. You know, even big traps, they're not that aesthetically pleasing in my opinion. So I'm gonna have to put them, I'm gonna have to put them in the C tier. Not, not terrible, but certainly not good in any means. Adductors and abductors. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like with the glutes, if you're a guy, you know, people will understand if you train glutes as a guy, it's not like the worst thing in the world. But if you train adductors and abductors guy, you just look, you look so dumb. Like it's not even funny. I mean, what exercises can you even do in a home gym to train your abductors and adductors? I mean, literally, what, what do I have to do this or this? I have nothing. There's literally no exercise I can do. I'm not even gonna show an exercise on screen. There's nothing I can do, which automatically sends these straight into the D tier, both of them. I'm ranking these together because they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, yeah, no, just terrible, terrible muscles to train. They're just not fun at all to train. I mean, no enjoyment out of them. Next up, we got the triceps. Now, out of all the upper body muscles, I don't really like training the triceps that much. I mean, the biceps, in my opinion, are way more fun to train but they do have an edge over the forearms because skull crushers, you know, they're a great exercise. You can do dumbbell behind the back curls. Those are really good. They're just so average. They're like literally the definition of average. I mean, you don't get that good of a pump out of them. You know, it's just so painfully average. They're screaming B tier, B tier for triceps. Next up, we have the laterals and back. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is probably my second favorite muscle to train because they're massive, first of all, so you get an insane pump out of doing them. And you also have a huge exercise variation you can do. I mean, you can do pull-ups for the back. Those are great. You can also do rows if you just set up a bench and then maybe some get some weights on a dumbbell. You can do Australian push-ups. You can do those on a bar. You can do those on cables. I mean, there's just so much you can do. You could even do, I, I use the bands from before and I set up three coolers together and I do rows like that. There are so many different ways you can train your back and there's such a big muscle. It's such a big muscle that you can really get a really good pump. And then lastly, the best part about them is that if you don't have a mirror, which I don't really have, I literally use my washing machine in my house, you can't actually see your back so unlike when you're training with your chest or your arms and then you feel huge because of the pump, but then you see yourself in the mirror and you remember that you're 5'9 and only 150 pounds, and then you want to die, you can't see your back. You can trick yourself into thinking you're massive because there's nothing that can stop you from looking in the mirror and being like, oh, 
I'm, I'm not massive at all. I am a small, puny human being, because you can't see your back. So because of that, they are going straight into the S tier. Okay, abs. Now this is gonna be really controversial because I feel like abs, more than with any other muscle, they can be either S tier or D tier. Because the problem is most people don't train them correctly. You know, most people think you gotta do 100, 500 rep curls. I mean, not curls, but chin, uh, uh, crunches, sit-ups. You know, you just gotta go high rep. You gotta do it for five hours a day, seven days a week. I mean, no, that's not how you train abs. Abs are made in the kitchen is a saying that a lot of you have probably heard, and it's really true. You're not gonna see your abs if you have a lot of body fat covering them, which is why a lot of these people that are doing crunches and all these super high rep things aren't getting anything out of it. They're a D tier muscle, but I also think in a sense they're S tier because the way I train abs is I do it just like any other muscle. I don't treat them any differently. I train them twice a week and I do eight to 20 rep sets, but I do it in a way so that the reps are actually really hard. So I do decline crunches and I do them in a really scuffed way because of our home gym where I put the bar against our safety pins. I literally put my shoes against that so that I can get enough support to actually do the crunch. And then I'll hold a weight. And that makes it incredibly difficult to actually get a rep off. So that makes it so you can actually train abs in a way that you would like another muscle. Now another thing I like to do is if you have a bar, you can do oblique curls or you know another ab variation on a bar itself. And you just simply cross your body over to the left and right while targeting your obliques as much as possible. Now the one thing I will say is that you need to really make sure that you're not using your legs when you're doing that because it's really easy to have your hips take over or your quads take over and then you're not training abs anymore. You're just doing a shitty leg exercise, which is legs and obviously makes it D tier. So because of that, I'm gonna do something a little controversial. I'm gonna put abs in S tier, but at the same time, they're also D tier. Hey guys, it is Aiden from the future. I am editing right now and I realized that unfortunately the bicep scene got corrupted. So I'm gonna do it right now. Um, biceps, I'm definitely gonna say, which is really unfortunate they did because that is actually my number one muscle. Biceps are super fun to train. I mean, out of all the things that you can do with, uh, with the different muscles, biceps have like the most variation. I mean, you can do like hammer curls with them, you know, to hit some forearms. You can do alternating bicep curls, standing or sitting. You can do them in a lot of variations. You know, you can do uh, easy bar curls. If you want to cheat on them, that's completely fine because sometimes cheating on a bicep exercise is actually beneficial, unlike other body parts, because you can just add a little bit more weight so you can get a little bit closer to failure. So I'm actually fine with cheating on some bicep things. And you can even do bicep chin-ups. If you just target the biceps a little bit when you're doing chin-ups, you can get a pretty good pump doing that as well. So yeah, just thought I'd say biceps are 100% S tier and the vein poppage doing biceps, it's actually disgusting. I mean, the pump that you can get doing a bicep exercise is ridiculous. So I hope you guys have a good day. You know, I had a really good time making this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.